tipsy cause I've been sipping on Henny. I got the study of my vision and she ain't from the city. And she ain't foreign and she boring. Love the way you twerk it, shawty. Throwing money on her own. I call it independent, shawty. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Evil Rabbit here for episode two on the Torque Drift beta on the mobile platform on my iPhone 10. As you can see, we got some uh, sponsorship rewards and stuff. And if you notice, my money's pretty far down. That's because I uh, did get a couple cars and stuff, and they are tuned up. As you can see in the background, we got a BRZ uh, OMG drift on the door and Yokohama tires on the rear. So first, before we get into this episode, we are going to go check out our sponsor tree. We do have a couple more sponsors on our tree and we do have some sponsor rewards to collect so we are going to collect our ten thousand dollars and then we are going to collect our 15 torque drift bucks and then we are going to collect our crate package which we are going to go open before we get anything into this episode so today's episode we are going to talk about the customization the upgrades the paint and everything as you can see we have a couple cars here we now have a v8 swapped S15 full wide body as well as a tuned up BRZ with a pretty wide front you know track on there and then our normal car and then we did win last time in our crate we did win this MX5 which we haven't done anything to it is bone stock we haven't touched it yet so we are gonna go to our crate opening we're gonna open up our crate see if we get anything good in this crate probably tires but 2500 bucks i'll take 2500 bucks so we do get those bonuses every couple hours i think it's four hours or so with our sponsorships so today we are going to look at the cars the customization the parts and the paint shop and everything in this game as well as probably get sideways a little bit so as you can see we do have some liveries that i've put on these cars as well as sponsor decals and such so we're going to get into the cars first obviously as you can see you know s15 full wide body brz full wide body and then there is the s14 which also has a wide body kit and mx5 which also has one as well so you we can go into the parts store and i can show you that real quick go to body kits and you can see we have this one body kit for the mx5 which uh does some pretty uh pretty aggressive rear canards and um rear diffuser and a very open front like fish mouth grill so we cannot get to see the second one because we do not have them available that's a very wide diffuser and it looks like there's an oil cooler in the back and everything and so definitely pretty each car i believe has full wide body i haven't gotten into all the other cars yet but you can see the s14 does have a full wide body as well full body kit we can't see the second one because it's not unlocked yet because we are not pro status on that so as for customization on the game there's uh definitely body kits for each car two different tiers depending on what level you're at and as well as when you go into the parts store you do have you do have rim options as well i do not have all the rims some of them are plus plus one in size some of them are zero in size but the cool thing about the rim selection which I didn't know until I really bought a set of wheels for the BRZ, which I'll go over there and show you right now. So when it goes to customizing and performance aspects of these cars, so when you go to front wheel, and say we go to wheels, we can go to tune part. And that tune part gives us the ability to literally change axle width, which that wouldn't work because our suspension's through it. So change our axle width and everything for the front of the car as well as tire pressure and wheel width and stuff like that tire width and everything on those lines we are looks like we're running next to tires on there so we are going to leave it how i have it set because i believe i have it set how i want but you can do that for front and rear so i have a little bit wider of a track stance in the front to give uh, a little bit more steering angle because if you go into the angle kit and tuning of the angle kit you have the ability to change how much lock, 45 degrees, all the way up to 54 degrees of lock. As you can see, that's definitely a very, very big lock. So we also have camber degrees, toe in, and all that stuff. So there is the ability to modify and change all of these components when you buy them. As well as, so with the engine upgrading aspects, you have turbo 
you can tune boost pressure. We're going to kick that boost pressure actually up a little bit higher on there. So every single part, whether it be engines, clutches, and stuff like that, each one, each stage gives you more customization and ability to modify them more with each level of customization. So like case in point, let's go to this. We can't do anything with the exhaust, but we'll go to engine, we'll go to turbo. As you can see, we can bump this up to one, three, five. And then I believe if we were to fit the lower turbo, not only will we lower our power aspect, I believe we can only go up to one, three. Yeah, we can only go up to uh, 1.3 and boost pressure. So each time, each upgrade level, you have to buy the first upgrade level in order to get to the next upgrade level. And each time it gives you more customization for that part. So for suspension aspects, when we go into front wheel and we go into coilovers, and then we go to tune parts, see we only have spring length, which can lower or raise the car, and stiffness. I think afterwards on the higher upgraded suspension, there's more tuning ability of it. So actually, why not Let's pop into the parts store, see if we can buy the next stage suspension. Like I said, you have to buy the first stage before you can buy the second stage. ECU upgrade. Oh, apparently I have an ECU upgrade on the way. It'll be uh, about two hours, three hours till I can get it. We can order the suspension. So let's go ahead and order our next upgraded suspension. Uh, I do not have enough to instant buy that. Um, unfortunately, you do have to wait for parts if you do not have torque box in a sense to instantly install it. So we are gonna be waiting for those parts too. So, but when it comes to cars, as you can see, we have S15, BRZ, and then the S14 and the Miata MX-5. So when you go to street cars, as you can see, there's only two here because the other cars are the MX-5, the S15, and the BRZ, which I already have. So it takes them off the list. So we can buy, you know, the E46 BMW, which has a pretty sweet rear mount radiator setup, it looks like. And then we also have the E30 BMW with full cage and, you know, looks like air vents out the sides. So those are in the street car class. And then we have legend class which is there's only one car in that legend class and that is the toyota supra i'm not sure if they're going to be adding more cars when the actual game comes out but right now i mean that super looks pretty sweet so then we go on to the specials which is the brz of the uh gas monkey games 2018 brz this car is highly powered as you can see horsepower is 755 full wide body I believe that's the, still the first stage wide body. And it looks like we got some uh, Velside seats in there. I don't know. Okay. Uh, I'm not sure what they say on there exactly. But as you can see, bash bar, everything, some really nice concave wheels. So that's in the special thing. There was another special car in here, and I don't know where it went. I don't know why it got taken out. It was a uh, G35 with slap train logo on it. Uh, it's no longer available. I don't know if they just took it off or I don't know what happened with that. But, and then you also, like I showed you last time, we have the pro cars. Um, so you can buy the pro cars or you can win the pro cars in those crates. Like I won the two cars. I won, well, actually three cars. Won another S15, which it didn't give me since I already had it. The uh, MX-5 and then the um, BRZ. So... As for that, you know, the car list and the custom and the parts and tuning. Oh, oh, apparently we have Cali Banks is one of the drift. We're definitely going to have to hit up Cali Banks before the end of this episode off and do some tandems at that. But wanted to get a little bit into the paint and customization of the cars. So we can go into the paint shop. As you can see, we, you can have multiple different layers. As you see on this one, I have, you know, a couple of the sponsors on there that... I have in the game but you also have the ability to make it a two-dimensional or a, kind of like a flat 2d and then you can click the camera button and do side profiles almost like you would in Forza which is actually kind of cool thing, or you can do it in the full 3d version or you can just move it however you want so you do have the ability to add layers whether it be the sponsorships that you've held locked and their different custom you know logos as well as you can do 
shapes. So you can sit there and, you know, if you want to sit there and layer on livery to make like something special, you can change, you know, change the color of them and all that stuff just by the sliders. So you have a very big customization aspect in the game, which is actually pretty cool. And you can turn them, rotate them, make them bigger and whatnot. Um, so it's actually kind of cool that they have almost a full, they have a full paint shop and the ability to just pan camera to go left and right, as well as the ability with say, when you are go to OMG, this part, you can actually use this and this, and it'll actually transplant it to the other side of the car without you having to actually make it and run it to make it exactly how you want it to do it. So there's a lot of cool things in there. I kind of just got a little bit into um, I just move my, oh, I am moving my OMG. Uh, we're going to go back. I moved my OMG, so now we're going to have to redo that one and move that one back to how I had it. Luckily, it's very easy to do. Edit that. Go to the side, oops, go to the side I want it to go to. There we go. And then just move it back to where I want it and click done and then confirm it it does cost to paint cars which is the only thing downside but you can also buy different livery sets if you want you can rename them however you want so this is just the one that i have set up on two of my cars so as of customization everything it's actually really cool um rim selections there you can increase tire size and rim size and whatnot you can actually do you know say Two different sets of rims front and rear if you want um which is kind of cool because there's not many games out there that allow you to do that that allow you to change you know front and rear rim which is something i hope forza horizon 4 has because drift cars usually tend to have different rims front and rear whether it be drift spares or stuff like that so we kind of got that ryan turk fit going on right oh we need to bring that back end out a little bit as because when i did that it is in some so we are going to adjust that a little bit to bring that out some confirm and then make sure that's where I want it to be yeah there we go now we got fitment on point so you can also lower it raise it however you want to do it so like I said this game has a lot of cool things in it I'm enjoying every minute of playing this game um, it is kind of you know, not taxing that you have to wait for your parts, but so like I'll order parts and then I'll be at work and then they'll show up and I'll get a notification on my phone and say, hey, your parts are ready. So it's kind of it's kind of a cool thing. It's just like ordering parts in a real world situation. I mean, if you have the extra money, you can, you know, you can always add, you know, torque bucks if you want and uh, torque bullion. Sorry, I've been saying torque bucks. It's torque bullion. You can add it and then instant buy parts or you can just get the sponsorship like I have that gives you 18 every four hours and you can just accumulate those as you go on. So like I said, before we head out, we are gonna definitely hit up Cali Banks, which is probably my favorite track to drift and get doors in, because you can uh, definitely door dive easily at Cali Banks. So we're gonna enter in there, we're gonna try and get a tandem session go, or try and get a win a tandem battle here at Cali Banks. We are gonna rock the BRZ, waiting for our opponent. We have 444 horsepower in this BRZ. As you can see, the S15 is rocking 618, because that is a LS swap, which uh, get into a little bit more later with motor swaps that's a whole another ball game and it's actually a lot of fun to do motor swaps because all the parts you buy for the other motor transport over to the ls motor so it's not like forza where you have to buy parts and buy them for each individual motor and it looks like uh something went weird on that so we're going to try and enter that again and see if we can't get into it so after a quick reset of the game, because uh, did have a little bit of freezing issue, so unfortunately there is some bugs that are being worked out in the game before it comes out in live. That's what beta is here for. Looks like we're going to be going against an E30 here at Cali Banks. So uh, we're going to try and get a good lead run, and uh, hopefully we can get a good lead run so that we can have a good advantage for our chase run here on Cali Banks. We're going to initiate early. That was way too early. Try to drift it up into the clipping zones. Try and kick that back. Try and hit these clip zones as much as we can. A little e-brake flick. I am still running on the phone because I have not got a controller hooked up yet. And I think 
a very bad run. So, uh, having a little bit of an issue on that run. I don't know if it's the frame rate due to the fact that I'm actually recording. Um, that is dropping my frame in a little bit. But, yeah, he definitely uh, had a way better lead run. So, uh, we're going to try and get a chase run in and just see if we can't dive on his door. And then we will probably give it another go here. Kelly Banks says, I don't want to leave this episode on a bad run like that. So here we go. He dove in late. I expect him to dive in sooner. And apparently something is not right. I may have mixed up my tune a little bit, so we may have to switch. There we go. And of course he ran a really short line. So like I said, uh, I don't want to end this episode off on this. I have done way better in this game on my own. And it seems just when I start recording, I end up choking. So we're going to try and get another run here. And hopefully we can get a better lead run because of, uh, well, that's it's kind of embarrassing, actually. It's a bit of an embarrassing run to say the least, so I think we are going to probably switch back to a car that I know is more suitable tuned, because I've been messing with this BRZ for other tracks and I don't think I switched it back. So we are going to go back to our S14, which is our old reliable car it came with to start, which we got in the beginning. And uh, looks like we're gonna get another another crack at this guy in the E30. So hopefully we can get a better run this time. So Cali Banks is probably my favorite track. It is like a Irwindale reminisce. Kick that one in. There we go. Better run. The, oh, why did <laughs> I turn the wrong way? I got excited for the wall tap and uh, kind of made the wrong choice of direction. I'm going to run that one really wide. So a little bit better of a run than last time. It's not a super amazing run because I believe he probably got a incredible good run because he is a very good driver it seems like. And yep, like I said, 70 point run. Uh, so I think that's going to do it here for this episode here on Torque Drift gonna get, be getting more into the tracks in the next episode showing you guys full tracks and stuff like that drifting the full tracks in the practice sessions so you know you guys can follow me on facebook twitch twitter and instagram all of which are found in the description box below if you guys like what you see and you want to see more torque trip make sure you tap and subscribe i do appreciate all the support and everything from you guys especially on this torque trip beta series i do enjoy doing this i am having a lot of fun with this torque trip and we just totally tagged along I'm having a lot of fun playing the game. Uh, if you notice, I've played a lot since the last episode, so I do have a lot of fun just getting sideways and having fun. And I am having some serious frame rate issues. I think it has to do with probably my phone is low battery. So, like I said, next episode we are going to get more into the tracks and drifting the full tracks and practice sessions, show you guys the tracks and stuff like that. So until the next time, guys, like thank you guys for watching. I lost, so I'm before I have it. Um, <laughs>